All right, welcome back to Adobe Dreamer CC. In this tutorial, we're going to basically add some background color to some elements here in uh, Dreamweaver. So I have a nav bar here and then a footer. I'm going to add some background color to both of these. So we're going to see how to do that in the uh, make styles out of it. So basically, I'm going to select this anchor tag, hit the up arrow until I get the paragraph tag, and then hit the up arrow again, and I have the nav here. The nav is what I want to adjust the color to. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the nav here, and if I click on the nav element here, I can then add it to my styles global and just click the little plus for the selector. It'll of course show the body and the header, which is the, uh, the parent tags here. I'm just going to remove those. I just have the nav here and hit enter, return. And again, if I check the box show set, there's nothing applied to this yet, but if I uncheck, I have all the CSS available here. So what we're going to do is add a background, so we're going to click on the background element, which is the fourth icon here. I could add an image, you've seen me to do that with the background image before. Um, we can add a gradient, uh, I'm going to show how to do gradient another time. Um, but right now we're just going to do background color, so that's this element right here. Now you can just click in here and choose a color, you can also um, click in here afterwards, watch what happens if I click in here and choose a color uh, and then escape out. You'll see it right here along with its uh, shorthand uh, notation. So you can, um, and what's really cool is it has a disable and then a trash here to remove the property. So if I just want to temporarily remove it, I can disable it and then re enable it here. So if I click on the color again, you get this little color picker that slides up and down. And then you have these modes you have RGB, uh, the hexal number, and then the hue saturation luminance level which all of these have uh, alpha also built in. So if I select this, you'll see this last slider here. I can basically make it more transparent. So it doesn't matter which of these modes you choose that you like. Um, I'm just going to choose a nice dark gray, something really dark, and then drop the uh, transparency a little bit, and then click out. And you'll see it here in, uh, in here. And then let's see here. If I click on the background color again, click in here. Uh, it doesn't look like I, I added transparency for some reason, so let me drop that again. Um, and then click out. There we go. Now we have some transparency built in. Now, uh, what's really cool is once you pick a color, so let me say I, I want this really nice dark color here, but I want it to be a little bit transparent. I can add it to a swatch here. I have one color here added. All I have to do is click on this little plus symbol and it's added the swatch. And now, if I want some other element in here to have this exact same color, all I have to do is select it and then I, I basically uh, repeat the same action. So I'll show you here. If I scroll down here, uh, the footer here is what I want to select. And I want to make that into a selector. So I'm going to click the little plus symbol. Again, get rid of the body tag. Uh, we don't need that. So I'm going to go right in front of the F and just click out. There we go. Um, and, and what I'm going to do again is click in the color here, background color, and this time instead of using this picker here, I'm just going to click on the second swatch. And then when I uh, basically hit enter return, it will have the exact same colors up there. Pretty cool, right? So uh, that's a very easy way to have the color set up. So let's adjust the um, colors, maybe some margin, padding, and so forth on this text. So the footer here, uh, if I click on the text property, the text first needs to be centered, so under text align, I'm going to center it. The other thing I want to do is I want to make it uh, white, so I am going to give it uh, a unique attribute of white. So go all the way up there, top left corner, and then click out, and you can see here the text is now white. Uh, the other thing, it needs some padding, so right now um, it doesn't have any. If I click on the, um, the layout here, you can see below margin, which we saw last tutorial, is padding. And it needs a little bit of padding because the text is kind of bumped up against that shape. So I'm going to first lock this down by clicking this little lock symbol here. And maybe add, I don't know, uh, maybe uh, two pixels maybe of padding. Looks pretty good. Um, I mean, I could go three. Let's see what three looks like here. Three actually looks pretty decent. I actually like three there. So that looks pretty good. So uh, what I could then do is go up here to the top and repeat that same action up here with the home buttons. Now I don't know what color I'm going to use ultimately so I'm going to style these a little bit different but I can adjust the uh, the padding on here 
like I did before. Notice when I select this, it says P for paragraph. If I click on the nav, that's the up, like hidden the up arrow. This is the nav. Now watch what happens here when I adjust the padding. So I'm going to click on this little lock symbol. And again, I'm only going to go up to three pixels. And um, and that was the header. I accidentally grabbed the wrong element. So I'm going to undo that by hitting Control Z. Uh, I want the nav selected. There we go lock it in and then again give it uh, three pixels and notice how much more padding is going on here what's happening here well what's happening is the nav element is or is contained around the paragraph element so that's why it's pushing it out further so how do we resolve this well an easy solution is just to get rid of the paragraph we don't really need it anymore so in the code view here what I'm going to do is um, let's move this up or actually let me just switch to code view it's a little easier to see here but in the nav here I have a paragraph tag right here and here so all I'm going to do is select this P and then delete it and select this one and delete it and then to make my code clean I'll just tab to align the um, anchor tags here so this is all contain a nav element and then when I go back to split view here and click out you'll notice now the padding matches the padding here pretty cool so uh, this gives you some indication of how uh, nesting elements works where one element over another and uh, we discovered how to change color to the element and uh, add some padding so in future tutorials we'll work on some of these other elements maybe the anchor tag will work on the um, uh, adjusting these elements a little bit more until next time see you soon in Adobe Dreamweaver CC